Uh, interestingly enough, I initially did not want to become a police officer. When I went to college, I initially was going for pre-law. Uh, while in college, I actually started working for the campus police department and it was through that experience that I really got to see some of the interactions that law enforcement had with the population and I realized that that's something that I wanted to do and that's really kind of when I started to want to become a police officer. I think some of the things that really helped out, especially in uh, my, my early school years, whether that be middle school or high school, is definitely playing sports because what I've learned is that policing is definitely a uh, team job. Probably one of the jobs that I actually learned a lot from was when I worked at McDonald's because that really got me to learn how to deal with people um, in diverse situations. It prepared me to deal with all of the types of interactions that I even encounter into this day. At minimum, you at least need 60 college credits or an associate's degree. And after that, you have to complete a police academy. And the current length of that is 720 hours or about uh, 17, 18 weeks. And some of the police academies you go to would be uh, like MATC, Madison College, or uh, there's the Black Hawk Technical College, which have their police academies as well. So I've wanted to be a police officer for as long as I can remember. I just had a sense of um, community and duty and wanting to serve. Um, but I took a little bit kind of a longer route. Right after high school, I went to uh, college and I was a part of the Air Force ROTC program. So I spent uh, four years active duty uh, Air Force, um, deployed overseas, deployed to Iraq. Um, after the military, I actually worked a desk job for a long time, but I still, in the back of my mind, was like, I, I want to do something else. I want to be um, outside. I want to do something a little bit more exciting. Um, so about three years ago, uh, I decided to take that kind a leap and uh, went to the law enforcement academy and uh, I've worked for Fitchburg um, as a police officer uh, ever since. One of the best qualities and features about my job, there's no such thing as a typical day. There's a wide variety of calls that we go on. We can go on disturbances, we can go on um, thefts from buildings, and one of the most common calls that we've been going on even more recently is theft from vehicles. And sometimes people have various items taken from their cars, and one of my duties as an evidence technician is to go process that scene. Probably one of the the best qualities that I bring to the job is just my desire and my own personal drive to want to become better, to become, uh, you know, just a more integral part of the community and to try to bring new innovative ideas to the, the police department as a whole and to the community as a whole. Just being a really good communicator, um, both in speaking as well as writing. Um, a lot of our job is, is writing reports and so being, um, you know, able to, to write uh, quickly and well. Um, also, just being very organized. You can never know everything in this job. You know, even officers who've been on the job 20 years will tell you that, you know, they don't know everything and that everything is consistently changing because how we police today isn't the way that we policed five years ago when I first started versus 10, 15, and 20 years ago. So it's, it's ever changing, ever evolving, and I can only imagine where we're gonna go within the next, you know, five to 10 years um, during my career. The most rewarding part of the job for me is, um, you know, being able to help people at the end of a call, you know, whether they just say thank you, you know, they shake your hand, and you know, sometimes we even get hugs. Oftentimes we see people, um, you know, at, the, at their worst or just at a very bad time, you know, maybe they were a victim of a crime um, or they were just in a, a car accident. Um, it, it is maybe something minor, maybe someone, you know, lost their dog and, and, you know, I've done that. I've helped them find their dog and just the sense of relief and, and, and gratitude, it just makes it totally worth it. Just when you can help somebody and you can just see the kind of the relief um, on their face. Something that I wish the public would see is kind of two things. The first thing is the paperwork aspect of it. A lot of times television doesn't do justice to the actual dynamic of what occurs um, after you address a call or go to a call. You know, we could spend two hours on a call and spend, you know, the next hour and a half doing reports, doing paperwork on the back end of it. One of the interesting things about my job is that, you know, I wear a lot of different hats. A lot of times I'm not a, just a police officer, I'm a counselor. I can be a, you know, 
whether that be you know to a juvenile to uh, you know a married couple I can be a psychologist and do a lot of different roles in this job and that's something that you know I wish the public could see more of so that way they just don't necessarily see the police aspect you know pulling someone over giving them a ticket for speeding but seeing the the side of where we actually kind of go into people's houses and actually deal with some of the problems that you know they're dealing with and try to help solve them so that way it doesn't turn into a police issue. I wish the public could kind of just see a little bit more you know, how much we truly do care and we kind of pour our hearts into this job and you know there's some of those calls where you just leave and you just you want to cry right along with you know the people that you're helping and it just it really you know it really touches us and we really feel you know right there with with everybody that we're that we're on scene that we're helping so we, we are professionals you know but we also just you know we care so much about our community and everybody that we're helping.